Hello, I'm Norbert Gleich, MD, and I'm the medical director at the Center for Human Reproduction. My subject today is time of embryo transfer. In other words, after we have produced in an IVF cycle an embryo by achieving fertilization of an egg by a sperm, when then does that embryo go back into the womb, into the uterus? Now, when the IVF started, we did it on the first day, so-called saigon stage. That didn't last very long. We then went to day three, when embryos were at six to eight cell stage, called cleavage stage. And for a good number of years, that's where things stood, until some colleagues in Colorado suggested that culturing embryos to so-called blastocyst stage. Good embryos reach blastocyst stage on day five, but they can also reach them uh, that stage on day six or even seven, though with poor outcomes if that happens. So our colleagues in, in Denver reported that they got these amazing pregnancy rates if they cultured embryos till blastocyst stage, because that supposedly selected out the best embryos with the highest pregnancy chances. And so, as so many times happens in medicine, people believed it and started more and more often to move embryo transfers to blastocyst stage. And therefore, when you look today, the vast majority of IVF clinics around the world indeed culture every embryo to blastocyst stage. We don't here at the Center for Human Reproduction, and the reasons are manifold. And the first one is that we have learned over the years that when somebody tells you to do something to everybody, don't believe it. It never works. Nothing is good for everybody or bad for everybody. Medicine is multifactorial and individual individualization is always of utmost importance. But scientifically speaking, the concept made limited sense because the concept that culturing embryos two days longer would filter out, would select out embryos so to, with, with so much better potential that you would get those bizarre claimed pregnancy rates of 50 to 70 percent simply didn't make biologically any sense. And we actually were skeptical from the beginning and once we looked a little closer at the study, it very quickly became abundantly clear that there was a trap, uh, which unfortunately is quite frequently uh, present in, in many papers in, in the medical literature. And the trap is what we call good patient selection. In other words, if you select the patient population in whom you do a study with only people who have the best prognosis, let's say they're the youngest, they are the healthiest, then obviously whatever you study in that population will give you great results, much better results than you will get, will, will get doing the same thing in the general population. And this is what often happens in medicine. And it happened with this study of blastocyst stage culture. It was a highly selected patient population. And the reason why they had such great results was not primarily because they were culturing the embryos to blastocyst stage rather than transfer them earlier to cleavage stage, but because they had selected an amazing patient population. And then what has happened is Nobody said that it was done in an amazing patient population and the results were applied to everybody. And unsurprisingly, 
once studies were done in unselected patient population, basically all the claimed advantages of doing blastocyst stage culture disappeared. And if we look at the literature today, and if we look at all the studies where cleavage stage, day three transfers, were compared to blastocyst stage uh, cultures, cumulative pregnancy rates for an embryo cohort from IVF cycles are basically the same. And if you really want to be very accurate, there's a slight advantage for cleavage stage culture. And so what does that mean? It means what simple logic really should tell us. Nothing works the same way for everybody. You have to carefully select who gets day three and who gets day five transfer based on who the patient are. And if that's what you want to happen, then you have to come to the CHR because almost everywhere else your embryos will pretty automatically get cultured to blastocyst stage. Thanks for listening.